Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are sharpening some threading dies. All of this you see here is the wear. And so we're going to be taking this radius here and we're going to be deepening it and bringing it down this way until we have nice fresh cutting edges. Probably also going to take a lick off the face, get rid of some of the rounding on these corners down in here. Basically, the way these things work, if this was a rod you wanted to thread, that radius I showed you would kind of live in here, something like that, and then this is uh, a clearance. This is a clearance behind the cutting edge. That's what this radius is, is doing here. These teeth automatically uh, clear. There's clearance built into that, and it's all to do with the dynamics of the head that holds these things. But basically, what I need to make sure of is that uh, my radius touches the back of the teeth slightly before it gets to the front of the teeth. And that'll be how I know I'm maintaining a clearance angle on there. My first step here is to determine exactly what radius this is uh, so that I can put that same radius on a grinding wheel. Now, I don't have radius gauges this big, but I've just been grabbing random things and uh, seeing how they fit. The radius on this tool is a little bigger than what I'm holding in my hand here. So I'm just going to keep trying different random things until I find the correct radius. So I finally found a piece of material here in the shop that is uh, exactly the same radius as is on this tool. So now I just need to measure this and then put that same radius on a grinding wheel. I'm going to be using my radius grinding fixture to actually put the radius on the grinding wheel and I'm going to be holding the threading dies in my universal work holding fixture. So I'm just going to get this guy cleaned up, ready to go. These threading dies have a lead in angle on them and I'm just setting up so that I can perfectly recreate that. So I'm going to show you guys what I have going on here as far as the setup goes. When these are in the machine, they, they go in, uh, they each have this cutaway, this slot in them, and that's what keeps all four of them exactly the same distance from the workpiece as each other. So I've got this bolt in here, and it's, it's, it's fastened in there really nice and tight. So what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to put that, that, that cutaway, that slot in the, in the tool over the bolt and then I'm going to come all the way down and this will ensure that whatever I do to one die, I do an exactly identical thing to the other dies. I've got my fixture dialed in this way so I know it's going to track properly across the clearance area and I've also got this uh, Leading angle dialed in, so you can see I'm, I'm perfectly on zero. So now I'm going to put a wheel up here, I'm going to put the radius on the wheel, and then I'm going to get everything aligned, and then we can start going. So first thing I'm going to do is get the center of my radius fixture aligned with the center of the wheel. For anyone that hasn't seen this thing before, this, is, uh, this edge is exactly the center of the bearing in this thing. And that's how I'm going to know that I'm centered to the wheel. Now I am just going to center this to the wheel by eye and that's fine. It doesn't need to be more accurate than that.
You may remember in an earlier video we made this new handle. Now I was supposed to turn this into a set screw. I haven't done it yet. That's fine. It'll work for what we're doing today. This is my diamond dresser. This is what we're going to cut the grinding wheel with. Now, I measured that radius at an uh, inch and a quarter. There was a two and a half inch diameter piece that fit in there just about perfect, so the radius is inch and a quarter. So now I need uh, this diamond centered to this and an inch and a quarter away. So there, I'm exactly an inch and a quarter away. I can lock this in place. Now I know I'm going to cut the exact radius I want to. Next thing I need to worry about is get the height of my wheel perfectly matching the height of my uh, diamond dresser. File my wheel. I've got my wheel and my dressing tool at center height. Uh, of course, I've set the radius that I want to cut onto that wheel. Now I'm going to engage the low range on my table travel so that I can uh, more accurately feed the diamond into the grinding wheel. There she is. Get my dust collector going. positioning my wheel and I'm going to bring it down to height and get it centered over the tool that I'm sharpening. I'm going to paint this radius with marker and I'm going to touch off just moving the wheel, wiggling it a little by hand as opposed to having it running because I really don't want to ruin these. And it is also very critical that I maintain the position and size of that radius. So if you look right in here, you can see that after only having moved uh, my down feed like about a thou, um, we've taken that marker off um, pretty evenly across that whole area. Now there is wear up here, so we're not expecting it to see it touching here. I would call that just about perfect for what I'm trying to do here. Now that I'm centered in and out, uh, I've, locked my, my, I've locked the travel on my table, so I can't make a mistake and move this. I would really not want to move this because it's in the perfect place and it needs to stay exactly there as I sharpen all four of the dies in, in this particular set. So I'm going to go back and forth past the area that I want to grind and I'm going to come down super slowly until I just touch and then we'll pull a tool out and we'll take a look. We should see that that whole surface there we're just touching and as you can see that entire surface completely cleaned up after having traveled downwards only one cow so that's I'm gonna call that just perfect so now we need to keep grinding until all this black uh, disappears what you're seeing there is the actual damage uh, and the wear on on this cutting edge see some wear there so I'm gonna keep going.
now, if you can see it, all that damage is gone. We've got a nice fresh cutting edge there. I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to put a mark on my downfield, uh, down feed hand wheel here. First, I'm going to come to a line. And now I'm going to put a mark on that line. And I'll bring all four of the tools in this set to that exact same place, and that way I know they're going to cut evenly and properly. And now we're going to sharpen up the second tool in this set of four. So here goes number two. I'm at my mark. I'm going to come up uh, a bunch, one revolution. That way I'm sure I'm going to clear this tool. I'm going to very carefully put it through there. And yep, I'm clearing by a mile. Now I'm just going to very carefully come down until I touch it. going down until I get to my mark. That way I know this one will be identical to the first one. And that one's done. Okay. Well, there's the first set done. Um, getting ready to do this. Uh, well, the first set is done on setup number one. There's a second setup where I need to remove some of this damage down in here. That's an altogether different setup. We're going to use the same setup. Um, we're going to do the same setup on, on both sets and then we'll make a whole new setup and then we'll do both sets on that setup. Both of these sets of dies are for inch and a half coarse threads. And so I'm hoping maybe I'll get lucky and uh, I won't have to do much adjusting or any possibly to get this second set going. So what I'm going to do, same thing, I'm going to paint the area um, that I'm going to grind uh, with marker and then I'm going to come in, just scuff it by hand and see what we're looking like. And there we're just touching. And we are touching a little more towards the back. Now I went down less than a thou and it cleaned up about a third of the way across. I think I'm just going to go a couple thou into that and see how she looks. So, what do you think? Well, this set has a slightly different clearance angle. You can see that I'm, 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 I'm almost uh, cutting all the way across here, but I'm just touching there, which is fine. Changing that by a couple thou means nothing. I've only moved about two thou since I first touched it. So that's plenty close enough. Also, it's favoring the back side of the tooth, which means that I may be increasing the clearance angle ever so slightly, uh, but that is definitely preferable to decreasing the clearance angle. That's setup number one done on uh, all these tools and now I'm going to set up to remove this damage here and clean up this face. Well first I'm going to vacuum off my radius grinding fixture. You can see it's just covered with grinding wheel grit and uh, I'm going to vacuum all that up and put this fixture away and then I'm going to readjust my universal work holding fixture and put a different wheel on in order to grind that face. I'm just dialing my wheel in now so that when I dress it, I remove as little wheel as possible so I'm not wasting wheel. I'm 
dialing this surface in, in two directions, so that I can recreate the rake angle that is on the face of this tooth exactly. That's awful close. And this way needs a little work. close. So I'm going to dress my wheel now. I want it uh, running true and I want it perfectly flat. And uh, it's, I dialed it within a thou, so we have to take very little off to get this thing where I want it to be. Next thing I'm going to do is use this little stick of diamond here to put a slight radius on this corner uh, because I'm not going to fully match this radius because that would waste way too much wheel but sharp corners are really weak and I don't so I, I want a radius somewhat of a radius corner down in there. That'll do. As I'm freshening this face up, you can see the the remnants here still of uh, the damage that I'm removing. So I'm going to go until that's all gone. This bit here I want to get rid of, and I want to get rid of all that. There's a little there I want to get rid of. That's looking real good now. So I've made a little, a little mark here um, after I got all the damage cleaned up. My hope is that by bringing all four of them to here that they all clean up as nicely as this one did. In the event that one of them doesn't clean up, I'm going to have to go deeper on the whole set to keep them consistent. If you look right in here really close, uh, you can see a little bit of color, which is fine, pretty normal. I'm just going to knock that color off with this really, really fine stainless steel wire wheel. And there, I don't know if you can see it, but that color is gone. So here they are all done, ready to go back to my customer. Uh, that's it for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.